Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Nat. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to be making a super delicious and easy, crowd-pleasing, one-pan chicken dinner. So we're going to start with a pan that you can start on the stove and finish in the oven because it's a two-parter. Some beautiful chicken thighs. Today I'm using boneless chicken thighs, boneless skinless chicken thighs, but you can mix it up and really have drumsticks, chicken thighs with the bone in. Essentially, my recommendation would be to definitely use a meat that is more on the dark side because you really want it to make sure that it's not too dried out. Chicken breast might run a little dry. Then we have some garlic, lemon, sweet onion, pomegranates, basmati rice, some chicken broth for the basmati rice, and beautiful fresh thyme. What's really nice is I find that chicken and lemon go really well together as a flavor, especially when you start incorporating the onions, the garlic, and the thyme. It's going to be amazing. What's really cool about this is we're going to start the dish on the stove. We're going to sear up our chicken. Then we're going to cook up our onions and our lemon and our garlic together. We're going to add our rice, make it a little bit golden, put in the broth, tuck our beautiful chicken back into the sauce, Top it with beautiful, delicious thyme, and in the oven it'll go. And then at the end, we're going to top it with very rich in antioxidant and very eye-pleasing pomegranates. So let's get to the stove and start cooking. Okay, so now we're at the stove, and I've already browned my chicken thighs that I seasoned with salt and pepper. They don't need to be cooked all the way through because we really want them to get a good crispiness in the oven. And now I am just cooking up my onion and scraping up as much of the brown bits from the meat from the bottom of my pan. For this recipe, I'm using a sweeter white onion, but if you don't have that, you can use a yellow onion, but you just wanna make sure that you are almost not caramelizing it to the point where it's like an onion soup, but you just want them to be translucent and really kinda bring out the onion's natural sweetness. A shallot would be just as good for this recipe. So. Now my onions are almost cooked, and once again, it's all going to be baked in the oven, so all the flavors are going to mix together. It's going to be great. Now that my onions are cooked, I'm going to add my garlic and my lemon. I have one medium-sized white onion. I have about a little bit more than half of a, on a lemon, and about one and a half cloves of garlic. So I had one larger clove of garlic, and then I had a smaller one. You can adjust the amount of lemon and onion and all the other extra flavors to the amount of meat that you have. For today, I'm only using four chicken thighs, as I mentioned, but this meal can be kind of made smaller or bigger depending on how many people you're serving. When you are gonna adjust those serving sizes, you do need to adjust the amount of rice. I'm making a cup of rice, so that usually is one and a half um, cups of liquid. And today, I'm gonna be using broth. When you make this recipe, I find the broth gives the rice an extra flavor, which is really, really delicious. You can use veggie broth, you could use chicken broth, you can use any broth you want. Or you could use water as well, that's fine. So now I'm just breaking up the lemon because I realized they were not cut completely through and it's already smelling really wonderful. Just want to scrape this little bit of meat from the bottom. As I mentioned earlier, it's really important that you're using a pan that can not only accommodate stove top, but also can transfer to the oven. I'm going to throw in my fresh thyme. Season with some salt. I like my pink Himalayan salt. Fresh cracked pepper. My favorite ASMR sound. Give it a good toss, let all the flavors incorporate. Like this. Okay, and now we're going to add the cup of basmati rice. We're not gonna add the liquid right away because we want the rice to not toast, but just get coated by the olive oil. And this will also prevent it from sticking later on too. 
We do want a little bit of a crispiness on the edge of the dish because it just makes the, the meal all the more delicious and the flavor is packed in there. So now we're just tossing it all together. These one pan dishes are really easy to make, less clean up as well, and fun for the whole family. As a side dish, you can do you can do anything you want, a salad, you can do a you know one of your favorite roasted vegetables. I bet you could even probably throw in some veggies into this mix too. Mushrooms, maybe some broccoli. These one pan dishes are the best. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add the broth. To the pan. And really spread the rice around like this. Okay. And then we're going to put the chicken, nestle those beautiful pieces of chicken right back into the pan. I like to make sure that all the juices are surrounding the meat. And the rice as well. All right. So now we are going to cover this up, put it in the oven covered for 35 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. And then for 15 minutes, we're gonna cook it at the same temperature, but without the lid, because we really wanna get that good crispiness. Into the oven it goes. We'll see how it turns out. Hot out of the oven, this chicken dish is looking phenomenal. We have a nice golden color on our meat, not burnt, but just golden enough, and a nice crispy edge with our rice. So now it's time to top it with these beautiful pomegranate arils. Pomegranate is something I've loved. It's a fruit I've loved ever since I was a little kid. I have the fondest memories of my grandmother buying a whole bunch of pomegranates for me and doing the whole arduous task of peeling all those pomegranates and putting them in a big sour cream container and I would just sit, watch TV and eat them with a spoon. How decadent was that? So now my husband helps me do that. <laughs> so now we're gonna top these, this nice dish with the beautiful pomegranates. I like to use a good amount because not only is it pretty, but it actually adds a really nice kind of sourness with the lemon and the thyme. It's just divine, so good. So, so, so good. All right. So I think we've added enough pomegranate. Now we're gonna give it a bit of a taste. So let's see how this turned out. It certainly looks good. I'm sure that it is tasting good as well. I'm just gonna move this, put a piece of chicken on my plate, make sure I get all that delicious rice. Remember, if you would have added more rice, there would have been more liquid, and then you'll have more to scoop as well. But for today's dinner, we're not very many, so we're only gonna do two. All right, let's taste it up. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of chicken. It's piping hot, but I can tell that the chicken is nice and juicy. Scoops up some of that delicious rice. Make sure I have a pomegranate in my bite. And let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That crunch of the pomegranate juice that just explodes in your mouth. The taste of the lemon is very present. It's juicy, it's cozy. You can't get a better dish for this time of year. Bon appetit, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.